I'm out here on Parsons Avenue and London Grove Port Road where emergency responders were out here in the hot sun earlier looking for a cyclist who was hit by a semi. Turns out later on there was no actual body to be found. The 911 call came in this morning from a witness who claims a semi truck hit someone on a bicycle. Reportedly there was a bicyclist uh, by himself. He was traveling down Groveport Road and a semi truck came up behind him and clipped him. Uh, throwing the bike aside and uh, throwing the, the rider of the bike over the guardrail. By noon time, emergency responders were on the scene. The local dive team was even in the nearby water in case the bicyclist went into the water after being hit. So the woods are very thick, so we've had uh, Franklin County Sheriff's Department down here with uh, Columbus Police, Columbus Fire, and we've got a couple different dive teams down here. We've got a couple boats in the water. We're just trying to uh, eliminate any possibility that he's laying there needing help. While awaiting answers to a possible hit and run crime investigation, Danny Collins pulls up in his pickup truck asking to talk to police. The gate was down, the bike and my ball bag fell out, but I didn't realize it until I was like three or four miles down the road. Responders had to pack up and leave after learning the bike belonged to Collins. His bike and duffel bag falling out of the truck was what witnesses thought was a person. I mean, they said they could have sighted me. I mean, they should have, but uh, they didn't. They were fortunate enough to, to solve the mystery, I guess. Collins was not charged for improperly securing his belongings, and luckily, nobody was really hurt. In South Columbus, Katie Forcade, ABC 6 News.